and this Dude. is probably going to go down as the biggest loser of 2023. Even yeah. bigger than Ezra Miller. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. saying much. Yeah, yeah. Um, Brian Zass, the son of uh, the billionaire who was in the submarine, that the five people that died. Oh, yeah. Imploded. Yeah. Horrible, horrible death. All because they want to go down a submarine that's being controlled by a fucking uh, one of these cheap ass fucking controllers you buy over there to the knockoffs. <laughs> the, yeah. the knockoffs you buy over there to Walmart and shit. No, they, bro. They, they, not... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you play with your PC on that shit, the cheap ass $10 shit. They had, that's how they were controlling the submarine and, and ass. <laughs> This is probably where he got the controller. He went to his fucking kid's room. I need something. Oh, this will do. He gets the fucking Logitech controller. This and he's kid. Like, hey, yeah. fuck you. Well, this kid's going to go down as the biggest loser in history. Oh, yeah. This guy's 37 years old, son of a billionaire. Mm hmm. And uh, the day after, the sub is lost. Yeah, we kind of we, we yeah, all yeah. know him right by now. Yeah. He goes to a Blink 182 concert. Mm. And he posts about it, all happy yeah. and shit. He says, "Thank you all for helping me in the difficult times. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to Coachella. I'm gonna do drugs. It's gonna be badass. They're gonna go to the orgy and fuck a lot of bitches. Don't worry, being a billionaire son is awesome. My dad's gonna be okay." Um. Uh, so, <laughs> a lot of people didn't like that, but one person in particular uh, has a louder voice than any of oh, us. Oh yeah, and it was none other than. Brrrat. Cardi B. Oh, and, uh, okay. Let's hear what Cardi B had to say about the situation. Are you ready, Kika? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Billionaires that's missing on the, on the water, on that submarine shit. One of the billionaires, their stepson, is at a concert, right? At a Blink-182 concert. And people is like, um, well, what is he supposed to do? Be sad at the house? Is he supposed to go look for himself? Yes. You're supposed to be at the house sad. You're supposed to be crying for me. You're supposed to be right next to the phone waiting to hear any updates about me. You're supposed to be uh, counseling your mom and shit. Like, isn't it sad that you a whole fucking billionaire and nobody gives a fuck about you? Like, like you missing and motherfuckers is ready to shake dicks at concert. That's crazy. I'd rather be broke. I'd rather be broke than like and poor, but knowing that I'm love. Um, she speaks some tr some ignorance truth. And uh, she has some big titties. <laughs> They're nice. Uh, but she speaks some um, ignorance truth that surprisingly is yeah. coming from the heart. You know? <laughs> yeah. You know? I yeah. just say, well, uh, Brian, this is how I tell you, this guy's a loser. Look at his name, is Brian. Uh, Brian decides to uh, put a little message for Cardi B. Are you ready, Kika? All right, sure. Three, two, one. So you take a complete bitch like Cardi B has no idea what's going on. Her career is so in such turmoil. She needs clout off other people's suffering. And she's like, hey, he won't go help. He goes to a rock concert, this and that. Tries to use the situation to exploit like the news. They're not like feeling sorry that my mom has to take care of two kids. Not really giving a fuck that my stepdad's probably 99% chance he's dead. That doesn't matter. It doesn't care how we feel. Just trying to like fucking make gains. People like um, trolling, getting hate mail, all these things. And it's just fucked up. And to have Cardi B behind it, Cardi B, like fucking grow up, get some class. Like you're tasteless. He's mad because he's getting trolled and people are coming after him. I think people are going to come after you regardless whether Cardi B called you out or not, you dumb son of a bitch. You call yourself, you're one of his kids. You're 37 years old, you dumb son of a bitch. What are you, Ezra Miller? Yeah, Cardi B, grow up. Let me watch fucking Blink-182, man. Yeah. This is the worst part about it is the idiots from Blink-182, they went backstage and took pictures with them, and they, they were like, we, 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 we we're praying for your dad. Thanks for coming to our concert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. That's the fucked up world we live in, Kike. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> your mom oh was god. in a submarine over there in Tilacuan, Mexico, or wherever the fuck. 
Would you go be over there in the fucking, I don't know, uh, what do you fucking watch? I don't know, your stupid old music and shit, your Hindi music. Would you be at a concert? The fuck is the question? <laughs> what the fuck did you just ask me? If your mom was in a submarine, would you be at a concert, you dick? No, you idiot. Yeah, exactly. This guy's fucked. This guy is obviously. fucked in the head, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, obviously he's desensitized, you know, yeah. Yeah, this guy, uh, uh. This guy's what's wrong with society in general. You <laughs> think he's on the spectrum, dude? I mean, this guy's 37 years old and he still listens to Blink. My mom has to take care of me and my sister. And he said, we got to take care of two kids now. Me and my sister, who's 49. <laughs> Our mom's single now. She has to provide for us. You dick, and you're making fun of us. <laughs> I mean, what she's going to do for work, man. <laughs> My dad's only a billionaire and shit who went down in a submarine who was being controlled by a Bluetooth fucking controller and shit. <laughs> hey, if you like this type of raunchy comedy, how about giving us a like and subscribe to our channel? And if you want to listen to more nonsense, click on the link on the right to watch the full podcast. Stay safe and cheers, dudes.